so much for being here today and clicking on this video. So today's video card reading is going to be about do they get jealous of you? So your person in mind this this is mainly for like your lover, an ex person, whoever you have a very strong emotional connection with. Do they get jealous of you? So we have three piles to choose from today. We have pile one with the rose quartz. We have pile two with the selenite crystal. We have pile three with this lapis lazuli and all the little black crystals. It's, it's gonna be fun, okay? So these are our three piles to choose from today. So whatever pile that you feel more drawn to, you'll be in the pile. And timestamps will be in the comments, but also in the description. So without further ado, we're gonna start off with the rose quartz. Alright, those of you who have chosen the Rose Quartz Crystal, does your person get jealous of you? Do they get jealous of you? So we have the Page of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the High Priestess. For clarifiers, clarifier for the Page of Pentacles, we have Three of Spades. Clarifier for the Wheel, we have the Ten of Hearts. Clarifier for the High Priestess, we have the Queen of Wands. And then for your Oracle card, we have Book, which is number 20. Right, so do they get jealous over you? But definitely this person gets jealous over you. I feel as though this person didn't have enough to offer you. This can be like uh, materially. This can be just physical feelings. Um, this can be this person just feels like they didn't have enough um, self-esteem to, you know, proceed forward with this connection. Sorry. Um, this person also, this person is represented as the page, whereas you, the viewer, I believe you're represented as the high priestess over here. So there's two different kind of energies here. This person has a very like young, um, carefree type of um, mentality. So there was a lot of miscommunications, misunderstandings between you two. And this person is just very, like, unhappy about, like, how things played out. And they wish they could have had, like, a better, another chance with you and a better, uh, better communication with you. But this person has kind of, like, lost hope of having that. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune here, so this person really just, like, they really hope and they have, like, some sort of faith, faith that uh, you guys will come together again. And even if, you know, not as romantic partners, maybe as friends, but this person definitely wants to have you in their life. They just feel like you are so lucky. And that's also something that they're very jealous about is like, they feel like you can just manifest anything in your life and you just have so much good luck on your hand. And, you know, wherever you go, you just carry such a light and everyone stops and looks at you and it's like it's so easy for you to manifest like love into your life it's so easy for you to you know make better connections and have joy and fulfillment um and a lot of people care about you and look up to you and this person's very jealous about that they're jealous and with this ten of hearts too like you may be in a relationship now or you know you started talking to someone new um, or they just notice that you're getting a lot of attention and they're very jealous about that, that you can just like, you know, get so much joy and contentment from somebody that isn't them. And with the high priestess here, like, 
they're jealous about like how like as I said like you may be somebody that's very strong at manifesting what you want and you like really use your intuition to guide you to make sure that you know uh, you're feeling fulfilled like your spirit is fulfilled um, and this is something that this person is jealous about and you know you may be somebody that um, has a lot of knowledge especially with the queen of clubs here like you're somebody that's very creative and can like really like work really well with your hands and just get whatever whatever you want you have like such a strong energy around you and you know you would be a you're a great friend to everyone around you and you're like you would be a great lover to the person that you know you end up being with in the future like this is like i'm seeing like wife material you may be wife material husband material whoever is watching this doesn't really matter uh yeah, you're a very great friend, and you know, this person is really jealous about how much you can do and just how well life just plays out for you. And they're just, you may be somebody that's very connected to spirit, very connected to intuition, a higher power, and they're very jealous about how you can, like, you know, go into the more spiritual realm and how you can, like, really feel things like that and emotionally. And this person is kind of just stuck in this physical realm, stuck in the 3D. So they don't really understand too much and they don't really see um, how life can play out for them. And it's like everything just comes so easy for you and comes so easy to you. This is two tens as well so like there's a lot of fulfillment and a lot of abundance that like gets drawn towards you and this person's very jealous of that now with the grove here i slip there there's a little kitty sitting up on this little porch thingy really cute so basically the grove is about choosing healing right the, you go to the grove like you go to this grove to you know be when you're in nature this is where you heal so the grove is somewhere where you can heal be in nature i'm just noticing there's like a little mushroom top here as well so that may be significant but uh when i think of mushrooms too i just think of you know uh like psychic awareness psychic power because i can touch mushrooms everything like that but yeah this person knows that you're somebody that can you know whatever hurdles that you go through you make sure that you give your time yourself that time and space to heal and be with yourself because you have so much like you have the ability to do that you have that um you have that power to um mend your wounds mend your pains and your broken hearts your heartaches and really move on and really take whatever hurdles happen to you as a lesson to like keep on moving forward and pushing forward like you're very resilient very, very resilient like and like looking so much at this wheel so no matter what you keep on going like no matter what happens and this person's just really jealous about that and you know this person may want to come forward and apologize or just like kind of like talk to you and try and get into your space get into your aura but like i see you just sitting up on this like perch sitting perched up on this uh this couch here and like not really caring about anything in the world and you know you might not even let this person back in but this person may may want to you know come back in your life in some sort of way but this person is not healed they don't know how to you know communicate with you properly and everything so if this person's coming back it's because you know they want something from you so yeah definitely choose compassion and love over everything else and this is what i'm picking up for you guys that have chosen this rose quartz crystal Hopefully that resonated with you. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye now. If you've chosen the selenite crystal, the sounds of these ring tiles, so do they get jealous over you? Let's go. I'll be I have like an ice pack in my hand so if you hear a little fidgeting, it's from the ice. So we have the nine of cups. We have the six of pentacles. We have eight of swords. We 
have the Ace of wa of Clubs. Also, Ace of Clubs, clarifying the Nine of Cups. We have the Eight of Clubs, clarifying the Six of Pentacles. And we have the Six of Spades, clarifying the Eight of Swords. For your Oracle card, we have the Six. Right, so do they get jealous over you? Hell to the S. And why? I'll let you know. So, starting with the night, the nine of cups. This person is jealous in the way that you can, of just how you can have like so much satisfaction, have like so many of your wishes and your dreams come true. They're jealous about that. They're jealous about like the fact that, you know, when you walk into a room, everyone just stares at you because you're just like so beautiful. And they know like if they can't have you, that, you know, anyone else can have you. And if you're feeling like, you know, if you technically this reading is more for like someone that you were in a romantic relationship with, but I know if you feel like, this can be somebody that you were in a romantic relationship with. This can mean that this person is jealous just by the fact that you can literally have anyone and like you may get out of a relationship and you know you'll find someone else and they're just like even better. You know, so this can be something that they're jealous of as well. <clears throat> when I think of the Nine of Cups as well, like just looking at this card, like this person here, like this woman is just like she has everything that she needs really and she's just super beautiful and filled with like she's overflowing with love and emotional fulfillment and happiness and they just hate that you know it's so easy for you to have that and they can't really or they may can but not as much as you and because of how beautiful and just how like content you are and just the energy that you carry around you you receive a lot of perks from you know your status and from your look so you may have like a really high paying job or something like this. You may be a model, um, something that has to do with like beauty or just, you know, something where you, you're you working as like you're working with your like face or your body, if that makes sense. Like that's kind of like a profession type of thing. So because of this, you receive a lot of perks from that. A lot of people are attracted to you as well. And you have a lot of friends and the Ace of Clubs too speaks of like passions and things like that. So you have like, you can uh, have a lot of wealth and fame around you. Like you may have a lot of like social media following, something like that, or you're just like, as I said, in a higher up position. And like, you're always just like, you always just get like um, praise for the great work and everything that you do. Now with the Six of Pentacles here, So with the Six of Pentacles, this person is jealous on the way, like, as I, like, if you, when you look at this too, like, the, the man is just holding, uh, handing out the coins and things here. So you're just so full of abundance and, like, uh, so full of just, like, satis like, emotional satisfaction and all of that, that you can, like, give so much to others. But it's also, like, you're giving because you're also receiving so much. So, like, you have that um, balance in your life. And they're also jealous of this because you're just so generous and, you know, you're somebody that can share your wealth and, you know, give back. Like, uh, you may even, like, uh, you know, work with um, charities and things like this. And you're very um, financially secure. So this is why you can give to others that, you know, need your assistance. And from this, like, you're so, you're financially secure, too, because you're organized with your money. You know where to spend, how to see how much to spend, things like this. Um, and, you know, like, I'm seeing need for money here, too. So, you know, people that need that money, like, as I said, like, you may be somebody that is just so generous. And, you know, you may, like, work with charities, things like this. You're just very generous with your resources. And, you know, you support others. You support the future. 
you may even like um, let people know around you like hey this is how to live more sustainably and you know this person really likes this about you you're just so happy to share with others that are in, are in need and you're just overflowing with like financial um, financial harmony because six also represents harmony so yeah that's one for you and there's two sixes here too so you're just like you're very balanced you're a very balanced person and you know they're very jealous of that as well now with the eight of swords sorry if you hear like a little fan thing it's my computer's like really beeping sorry about that <clears throat> with the eight of swords here this person is very jealous and i don't i i really see this as this isn't you but the person that is jealous of you because uh well, it can be both ways. So basically, if for you, I would say that um, whatever, like you can like get yourself out of like this mental mental conflict. You can get yourself out of you know uh, being restricted by your thoughts, you know, by negative thoughts. Um, and you know, even when you feel like you can't get out of a thing, like you have some kind of like limiting some kind of limit in front of you, some kind of obstacle challenge, like you can still like move forward and move out of that. Uh, but this person, like this, I'm picking for the Eight of Swords and I'm picking mostly up for this person, is that this person just, um, you know, they have, they can like free themselves from having these, uh, from being like uh, out of balance financially, emotionally, all that. But they have like limits that they impose on themselves. Like they, you know, they're jealous because they're, they're just watching everyone else. They're watching like what they cannot have. And they're not like looking at what they have and what they can work with, you know? So they keep putting negative thoughts on themselves instead of like replacing them with the positive. And they have a very much like victim mentality where like they want people to um, surrender to them and just like feel so bad for them because that makes them feel like secure safe in some sort of way but that's not doing anything for their spirit right um and the clarifier for the eight of swords here is the six of the six of spades which is also the uh six of swords as well in tarot but six of spades and so basically this person um doesn't like that the fact that like you know see this was you maybe this was you before you know you felt like you couldn't get your way out of things whatever but like you move forward no matter what kind of challenges imposed on you you don't let that stop you don't let it restrict you you know and this person you know can't do that so mentally you're in a better place than they are and this is something that they're very jealous about as well this person also feels like they can plan to do a lot of things and it's like they never end up having the results that they want to and that may also be because like they're doing all these things and trying to plan all these things to make themselves look better than other people or like make themselves look higher up than you are but it's like they're not getting much results because it's not something that that is true to them that's true to their soul they're really just doing it to you know make other people look at them and be like wow like look what this person is doing you know so this person has a lot of baggage to release as well and then with the listening card here so basically this person also like knows that you're somebody that people can come to like you're kind of like you know a counselor for other people right like people come to you like you know like the sister kind of like people come to you for help for support all that like you're a really great listener and uh you know you're somebody that is for the people and you know this person here and this woman here in this card like she looks very like she's very casual she's not wearing much makeup or any makeup at all and she just looks like she's at school studying whatever you're like minding your own business and you're minding your own business and doing things that like fulfill you and make you feel happy and this person should be doing that and they're just like how do you just do things so flawlessly and just get everything you want so that's what i'm picking up for you guys that chose the selenite crystal here if this resonated with you or if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i hope to see you guys in the next one bye now
those of you who have chosen the Lapis Lazuli, you found the link to the file. So do they get jealous of you? Why? Let's figure that out. So we have judgment. We have the two of wands. And we have the tower. <clears throat> Clarifying the two, the judgment, we have the two of clubs. Clarifying the two of wands, we have the six of hearts. Clarifying the tower, we have the nine of diamonds. And then for your oracle card, we have patient. So does this person get jealous of you? Do they get I think it's also this person definitely does get jealous over you, and they're jealous because something in your life can. What are you doing? Now? I mean, you're gonna get a second to process all of this, right? With the judgment card here, so the judgment card is all about like you being called to do something, and it's like you have to drop all of the expectations, all the other things that you had uh, planned in your life, and you just have to, you know, awaken yourself. And you know, a whole part of awakening is kind of just forgetting everything that we used to know. And just like becoming like this new awakened person. And this is something that this person is jealous about. Like you may have uh, just ended a karmic cycle, you know, and you were like hurting from something or someone that did something to you. And now you just have this new like redemption. And, you know, you made that decision to uh, do better for yourself. You know, you had that spiritual awakening. You've learned the lessons that you needed to. And now you have this new rebirth, right? And because of this, this person feels uh, let down. Because if you, if you were like in a relationship with this person, like this is mainly, this reading is mainly for those who were in a relationship with somebody, had some kind of emotional connection to, but this person feels like, wow, this person just like leveled up and left me out here in the mud. Like, this is you, and this is them, like, down here, like, on the rocks, you know? So this person feels let down. They're just like, wow, so you're just going to up and leave me and just, like, gain, like, a whole different perspective in life and just become this, like, beautiful goddess and just leveling up and, you know, how are you going to do that? Like, you're just, like, raising your, vib your vibrations and raising your frequency, and this person is, like, wow, like, you just, like, let go of me, you, like, just threw me in the dust, and this is why this person is jealous, like, you know, you had this, you know, all your, you had this, uh, this, um, reinvention of yourself, and with the, uh, now with the two of wands here, which, like, the two of clubs is, you know, also the two of wands so you have the two of wands here twice so this person sees you just planning like a better future for yourself and just really upgrading in your life and this is something that they're very jealous about as well like you were just like all right i'm gonna start all over and do everything a lot better you know and <coughs> sorry you're having a lot more progress in your life and it's quick heavy fast progress like some of you may be um, stepping into, um, like, your passions, or, um, what's the word? Like, what you're supposed to do in this life, 
like you're doing like what you're supposed to be doing on this earth what's the word for that I forgot but like you're following your soul your soul mission you're following your soul mission you're, you're taking you know you're you're in the planning phase of doing what serves you and what makes you happy and content because with the six of hearts here like I feel I think of like the six of cups which is the soulmate card nostalgia so you're really tapping in into you know yourself tapping into you know being more open to exploring new things and growing and you know this person may have told you or may have not agreed with some like a passion that you had and now you're really like stepping into that passion and discovering more of yourself and you know having more self-confidence and this make this makes this person feel really jealous because they know that what you're doing right now is something that you're going to keep on doing long term this is a long term goal and you know you know that um, your next step is to go higher and do things bigger. You know, you're following your life purpose. Okay. Um, and with the tower here, like, I just feel like this person just feels like, wow, you just like, like, I remember what I said, like, you guys had like a spiritual awakening. and You're just like up in and leaving this person behind and like, you know, really just focusing on yourself because you know, like, you know, life is very unexpected. and sometimes we go through really tragic things or you know, because we have to break a karmic lesson a karmic cycle we have to let go of karmic ties to another person you know you know like this person just definitely like uh taught you some lessons about your life and now you have this like both of these cards like judgment and towers about awakening so yeah you guys are going through like a heavy transformation and you know, there may be some chaos around you right now, but just know you're going to have this abundance and just feel so fulfilled with yourself. Like the nine of diamonds is the nine of pentacles. So you're just going to be so fulfilled and you're going to be really in your power and you don't need nobody. You don't need no woman, no man. Like you can do this by yourself and, you know, achieve a whole lot. Like you have this solid structure, right? Like even though like the tower is, um, getting hit with fire, getting hit with thunder, everything, like, it still stands strong. It's a solid structure, and this is you, right? So uh, you have a lot of ambitions, and you have a lot of goals, and you're going to act on that, and you're not going to let anyone or anything hurt you. And with this crown, this crown here, this re reminds me of, like, the uh, crown chakra. So this is also, like, another symbol of awakening. Like, you're following... Uh, you're following your intuition, you're following your passions, and you have this sudden burst of energy, and this person sees this, this energy just all around you, flowing down on you, and they're just like, wow, like, this person could just keep on going, and just did not fall, like, you're doing so well. And you may have, like, a lot more clarity, too, because you've been planning a lot, too, you might have a lot more clarity on, you know, uh, what you're planning to do with your life with your passions so yeah you have i see so hopes of achievement here it's like you guys are going to achieve something really well and like you know you're going to be independent and you're going to have a lot of wealth you're uh very self-reliant and you're going to be self-made you know and with this wishing card here like nine and one is ten so you're going to have that fulfillment like you went through the things that you need to right so it was nine and then it was ten. So you guys are going to be very fulfilled. And this person is going to be super jealous because they know that you're stepping into your power. They know that you are fulfilling all of your desires and your goals. And you're leveling up. And wishing here is like you're going to have your dreams come true. And because there is so much like spiritual awakening, everything here, I feel like definitely this is a sign that, you know, your, your prayers have been answered, spirit has been listening to you, and really has been guiding you through this lesson, like, you may have felt like you're alone, you know, but, uh, spirit was by your side the whole entire time, and, you know, now you're serving what, you're, now you're serving what is for your highest good, and your dreams are about to come true, because, you know, you're serving your higher purpose, and, you know, make sure that, because it is the wishing card, right? 
make sure what you are wishing for serves your highest good and that you know this person may be jealous of you whatever don't just feel like okay I gotta do this now I need to push and do more than they are don't do it out of that but do it out of like okay well you know that was a lesson learned let me do something for myself because you know people are gonna see you doing well and you don't need to prove that to anyone like it's gonna be seen to people like ego your ego wants to prove to everyone that you're the best and doing the greatest but your soul knows like things take time you have to go through these lessons and sorry i'm saying you know so much i noticed like other tarot readings tarot readers also say you know a lot i'm sorry why do we do this whatever <laughs> but yeah um 19 may be significant for you significant for you the 19th of the month I also feel like with this wishing part too I also feel like this person just wishes that you know you weren't you you weren't doing as well or as good as they were so this person may be trying to like wish that you know you don't achieve and achieve a lot but you're protected and if you if you haven't had um your little protection spells maybe not if you don't have any crystals on you make sure you keep those crystals on you keep protected that's very important because you're about to do something really big and there's going to be a lot of people around you that are going to be jealous about that so that's what I got for you guys. That shows the Lapis Lazuli. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this reading. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye now.